Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kat Messon. For those of you that haven't flowed with me before, for those of you that have, welcome back. Before we get started, just so you know that if you enjoy this practice, then please do join me on my monthly membership, which I have linked to below. So before we get fully into our flow today, we're just gonna take a moment to get grounded. So come to find a comfortable seat. If you've got a block or cushion or a bolster or anything you wanna sit yourself up on, by all means, go grab that now. And let's just take a moment Palms facing down on the knees. Take a big shoulder roll going back. And take a big inhale through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. And let's do two more of those. Inhale. Inhale. So just allowing the breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Becoming aware of what's alive for you in your body, what's alive for you in your mind. No need to try and push out that aliveness, just allow it to be. Trying not to dwell on it or go into depth, but just allowing it to be present and working with that in your practice today. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice, something you'd like to offer to your practice. Grounding down through all parts of the body that are connected to your mat right now, feeling the energy rising up through the spine, all the way up, out through the crown of the head, growing taller, growing longer with every breath. Drop the chin down to the chest. Take some half neck rolls, bringing the right ear around to the right shoulder. Bring it down through center. Left ear comes to left shoulder. Down on your exhale. Inhale up to the side and just keep working round here for a few more breaths, just noticing, recognizing any parts of the neck that feel particularly tight or achy and spending a little bit more time there, allowing the breath to nourish those points that feel like they really need it. And then coming back down, that chin to the chest, interlace the hands behind the head, start to round through the upper back as you draw the head down a little further, starting to increase the stretch all the way through the spine all the way through the neck and keep your eyes closed here allowing the breath to really open through the back body inhale start to lift all the way up open the chest cactus the arms option of taking the head the whole way back and opening through the throat And then coming back through center. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Take a stretch over to the left, opening through the right side body. Deepening the breath. So every time you inhale, you create space. And every time you exhale, you move a little deeper into that space that you've created. Coming back through center, take hold of the left wrist with the right hand, stretching it over to the right side, opening through the left side body. And coming back through center, switch over the cross in the legs and start to walk those hands forwards. Just allow the head and the neck to hang heavy. Maybe taking gentle little sways and rock side to side, easing through your body today before we get into a little bit of power. And starting to peel the body up. Okay, you're gonna start to lift the feet up, place the feet down. 
I might not even be able to do this, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to see if we can find momentum to bring ourselves up to Malasana. So you might want to rock back a little bit first, then shift the arms forward and find yourself in that Malasana, that yogic squat. Bring the hands to heart center. Give a little push to the inside of the knees, grow tall through the spine, allowing the tailbone just to drop down, neutralizing the spine, finding a little wiggle, a little sway side to side here. A few more breaths, just grounding into the feet, feeling into that space. And then see if you can shift the feet to face forwards, power through the legs, through the bottom, come all the way up to standing, really engaging those glutes as you do so. Heel toe the feet together, standing hands together, really growing tall through the spine. Take a moment, just close off the eyes, feel into the feet. Beautiful. Step towards the top of your mat. Take a nice big inhale with the arms, sweep them high. Exhale, bring the hands through heart center as you draw the right knee in towards the chest. So we're not holding that knee, hands are still at heart center. We're using the core and using the hip flexors to keep us here. As you start to shift the chest forwards, take the back leg, the right leg out long, find your warrior three. Holding here. Take a big bend through the left leg, lower down, 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 down. Big step back, reaching the right foot down, place the hands, ground down, step it back to plank, lowering down through a chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling, lift the chest, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So your first downward facing dog of the practice, take a moment to wiggle in any way that feels good for you. Maybe that's a shake and nod of the head. Wiggle of the hips, maybe some pedaling through the knees. And take some time to feel into the foundations of the body here. So grounding down through the hands, seeing if you can draw those heels down towards the earth. On an inhale, either step or float the feet to the outside edges of your mat. Drop down Malasana. Hands to heart center, a little wiggle side to side. And then shift those feet in so the feet are parallel. Power through the glutes, through the core as you super slowly rise all the way up to the top of your mat. Heel toe the feet together. Take a moment. Grounding down through the right foot, lifting the left knee all the way up, bringing it into the chest. Draw in through the core, the hip flexors are lifting, hands are still at heart center. One extra breath here. As you start to move forward with the chest, pushing that left foot all the way back, come to find your warrior three, creating that beautiful long line all the way through the crown of the head to the back heel. Take a bend through the right knee, holding here. Take that bend even deeper as you step all the way back, place the hands down, pick up the right foot, send it back to plank, slowly working down through chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling upward facing dog or cobra, exhale downward facing dog. So here let's find some stillness. So breathing in to your downward facing dog, really thinking about the hands and the feet and how they are really earthing and grounding into your mat. On your next inhale, step or float the feet to the outside edges of your mat. Drop down for Malasana or yogic squat. Hands come to heart center, lift through the chest. Take a little wiggle, take a moment here. Just shift those feet in so they're parallel. Power through the glutes, power through the legs, the core as you slowly start to reach all the way up, heel toe the feet together, hands come down through heart center. Round two, starting to add a little bit more on now. Ground down through the left foot, lift up through the right. Standing tall, lifting through the crown of the head. Shift the right leg all the way back, come to find warrior three. Again, creating that line. Left hand drops down, right arm reaches up, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, grabbing a block if you need it. Holding here, feeling into all of those little wobbles, powering through the legs. 
and then taking a big step back, finding warrior two. Come low into this left leg. So we're left side warrior two. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring it down. Two more of these, inhale, take it up. Exhale, drop it down. Last time, inhale, take it up. Exhale, drop it down and hold. Big, beautiful, long hold in our warrior two. So thinking here as we hold this and it starts to get harder and harder, trying to move away from thinking, what is this pose doing to me? And thinking about what is this pose doing for me? Two more breaths. And windmill those arms over, frame the foot, pick up the foot without sliding it, place it back, lowering down through your chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhale, lifting up, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Taking two more breaths here in your downward facing dog. If there's things that your body is crying out for, then by all means take any of the movements that it's asking for. On your next inhale, step or float the feet to the outside edges of the mat or of the hands. Come down from Malasana, our yogic squat, hands come together. Take a breath. And then just shift those toes in, ground through the feet, power through the legs, through the glutes as you come all the way up to standing. Hands come down through heart center as we heel toe the feet all the way in. This time grounding down through the right leg, drawing up the left knee. Again, we're not interlacing, we're not holding that leg in. We are using our muscles, using our power here to keep us lifted. Start to shift the chest forward as the left leg goes all the way out, dropping the chest down, push away with that left foot. Holding here, finding your warrior three. Take the right fingertips down either to a block or you can hover them off the mat. Finding Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. Breathing into all of those little wobbles. With control, big, big, big step back, make it long. Windmill, open the arms, come to find your warrior two on the right side. Get low into that right leg. Arms reach long. See if you can get a little bit lower. And let's fly the warrior. Inhale, take the arms up, straighten the leg. Exhale, release. Two more. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Holding here. See if you can find a smile as you breathe through the work that your body is doing for you. And exhale, frame the foot, windmill those hands over, pick up the right foot, smooth, silent transition back to plank, lowering down through your chaturanga or down to the knees, inhaling upward facing dog or cobra, exhale downward facing dog. Taking a moment here. So option in your downward facing dog, you can either come down to dolphin and if you're ready to, you could work pincher or if you're just feeling for a little bit of dolphin work to strengthen for your pincher, it's a great place to be. Walking the feet in as far as they can go, taking an inhale coming up to the toes, push the head away from the ground as much as you can. Exhale, draw those heels down to the earth. Inhale, lifting all the way up, hips come high. Exhale, release. Three more times. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, release. Remember, child's pose is always an option if it's getting too much. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, release. Last time. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, release. Walk those feet away slightly. Power through the hands. Really ground down as you push the elbows off the mat. Take an inhale here. And release the breath. On your next inhale, we will float or step the feet to the outside of the hands. Drop that bottom down. Find Malasana. Hands come to heart center. Grow tall through the chest and the crown of the head, neutralizing the spine. <sighs> Pivoting those feet in. Power through the legs, through the core, through the glutes. Lifting all the way up to standing. Heel toe the feet together. Hands come to heart center. Take a moment. 
Okay, grounding down through the left side again, lifting up the right, hugging that knee into the chest without using the hands. Taking now the chest forward, come to find your warrior three again. This time, option of keeping the hands here, or you could power really through this. Take the arms by the ears, making the variation a little bit harder. Square the hips. Dropping the left hand down, either to a block, the mat, or hovering. Finding Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Holding your half moon, see if you can shift the gaze up towards the sky. And then lowering that right hand down, come to find a standing split. So right leg goes as high into the sky as you can get it. As you start to step all the way back, we're gonna to come to Skandasana on the right side. So big step back, shift towards the back of your mat. Find Skandasana, open through the chest. So options here, you can either open out the arms staying in your skandhasana. If you're feeling something a little bit different, sit down, take a side bend. So the possibilities are endless with what you can offer, your, offer yourself in certain postures. So take what you need from the posture. If you're in the side stretch, slowly bringing yourself back to skandhasana, holding here. And then we're gonna power back through the other way. We're gonna to come to warrior two on our left side. So coming towards the top of the mat, really working through the inner thighs, windmill open the arms, left arm reaches out, you're in your warrior two. Inhale, take it high, fly the warrior. Exhale, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, last one, inhale, take it up. Exhale, come low into that left leg, really grounding. Grounding, grounding, as much as you can. And windmill those hands over, frame the foot. Step it back to high plank, hold your high plank. Hover the right foot off. Place right foot down, remember to breathe through this. Hover the left foot off. Place it down, see if you can hover the right hand off. Place it down, see if you can hover the left hand off. and slowly working through your chaturanga or down to the knees, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. <sighs> Let's drop those elbows down again. Remember child's pose is always an option. If you wanna work your pinch of myrasana or you just wanna work strength through dolphin, now is your time. Walking those feet in, if you're taking the drills, this time, you're gonna lift up onto the ball of the right foot, sweep the left leg high. No kicking, no jumping, just power. Working strength, holding here. One more breath. Slowly lowering it down, switch sides. Ground down through the left toes, sweep the right leg up, come onto the ball of the left foot. Right leg lifts high, high, high. Even higher, and slowly taking it down. Step the feet back out, power through the hands, pushing back to your downward facing dog. One more breath here. On your next inhale, step or float the feet to the outside edges of the hands of the mat. Malasana yogic squat, lifting through the chest. Taking a little moment here, maybe a wiggle, maybe stillness whatever's good for you in this moment. Pivot those toes in, power down through the feet as we lift all the way up. Hands come to heart center as we heel toe those feet in together. Take a moment, breathe. Ground into your mat. Ground through the right foot, lifting up the left. So drawing that knee in as close to the chest as you can possibly get it. And then we're gonna shift the chest forwards, come to find our warrior three. So as the left leg goes out, we start to take the chest forwards. If you're gonna take the more advanced variation of this, you're gonna reach those arms out long. Squaring the hips. Power through that right leg, all the way through the core. Taking the right fingertips down to the mat, find Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon. If you can, play with the gaze, see if you can shift the gaze up towards the sky.
and then slowly taking that left hand down. Come to find your standing split. Reach that left leg all the way up to the sky as high as it can go. On your next breath, big, 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 big step back. <laughs> Coming to find that Skandasana on the left side. Take the same variation as you took before. So either hands to heart center, maybe you're opening out, taking a bind, or you're sitting down and finding a little side bend. So evening yourself up, depending on what you did on the other side. Lifting all the way back, coming back to your Skandasana if you're not there already. We're then gonna power through these legs, come to find warrior two on the right side. Really ground down through those feet, come low into your warrior two. Take a shoulder roll back, just make sure those shoulders are traveling down the spine. Inhale, fly the warrior. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, release and hold. Getting low here, holding, smiling through it, knowing your body is working so hard. All of the goodness for you. <laughs> Slowly windmill those arms over, frame the foot, silently stepping that right foot back, holding your plank. Take a moment, lift up through the left foot, hold. Remember to breathe. Place it down, lift up the left, the right foot, sorry. Placing it down. See if you can pick up the right arm. Place it down, picking up the left arm. Place it down. Work through your vinyasa, meeting back in a downward facing dog. Okay, final time to work on your dolphin or your pincher myrasana. So drawing those elbows down towards the earth. Maybe this is a time for you to rest in child's pose, whatever it is that you need. Stepping those feet in. We can do the same variations we did before if you're doing the drills with me. Rise up onto the ball of the right foot. Sweep the left leg up into the sky. This time, see if you can bring the head all the way through and look up to your left toes. So like you're drawing your chin down to your chest. Slowly release. Switch sides, sweep the right leg up. Come up onto the ball of the left foot. See if you can gaze towards those right toes. Slowly release. Drop the knees down. Take a narrow leg child's pose. Bring the arms down by the side of you. And release the breath. Mm, good work. Just feeling into the breath, feeling into the body. Just slowly shift the body forwards down onto your belly. We're just gonna open out through those shoulders. Right arm comes out into cactus. Rolling over onto that right side, shifting the left leg over the top of the body. And then bringing it back to the other side, placing the left arm down, shifting it over, opening through oh, the left side of that upper arm, the chest. Mm, one of my favorite stretches, feels so good. And slowly coming back around onto your belly, shifting yourself all the way back. Bum comes to the, the heels and then swing those feet around. Take the legs out long in front of you. Flexing through the feet, let's take a Paschimottanasana. So if you need to sit yourself up on a block, by all means, grab yourself a block. Inhale, find length. Exhale, forward fold. And remember what we said before, as you inhale, you create space. And as you exhale, you can move into that space where the depth of the posture comes from. Maybe closing off the eyes here. Mm. 
Inhale, lifting all the way up. Shift your bottom forwards, slowly coming down to your back. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop open to the sides. Take the palms facing upwards down by the side of you. Close the eyes. See if you can notice the breath starting to soften through the body, just melting a little bit. If it feels good to, taking a couple of big releasing breaths. And just allowing yourself to be present in this space the most important part of our practice, these moments to reflect, restore, and rest. Of course, the option to stay here for much, much longer, and I really recommend you do if you can. If you're ready to move out of your practice today, just bring those knees in, and you can roll over to one side, or you could rock your way up to seated. Just getting there however feels most calm and natural for you, and just coming to a comfortable seated position. Palms together at heart center. And take a moment to come back to that intention that you set for our practice today. Maybe it's an intention that you can take with you throughout the rest of your day. And dedicate your practice to somebody that you love, somebody that needs your passion and your energy and your strength right now. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with me. I hope that you enjoyed that. I mean, I'm sweaty, so I hope that you are too. Um, like I said at the start, please come check out my membership. The link below will give you all of the information and you get to flow with me. Lots, lots more. So thank you, and I'll see you on the mat very soon. Bye-bye.